A unique challenge at a local high school is asking students to cut back on screen time. Kelloland's Max Hofer takes you to Washington High School for that story. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Perry. Now, the average teenager spends roughly 44 hours a week on their phones. Washington High School is asking their students to reduce that time by 20,000 minutes in just one week. When I check in... My on average, Washington High freshman Shawnee Gaday spends three hours a day on her phone. And for me, that's a lot just because after school, six is... School is like six hours, and then afterwards, um, after practice, I go on my phone, and I know I was like on my phone a lot. For one whole week, Mayor Paul Haken challenged the entire student body plus staff to reduce their screen time. The goal was to reduce it collectively by 20,000 minutes. We thought to uh, have a fun spin on it instead of making more rules and trying to police this. At the beginning of the week, they had every third period class record their screen time. Counselor Travis Sieber says the student council created daily challenges for students to find other ways to spend their time. We tried to challenge our students to be snap free for one day. Uh, on Tuesday, we challenged our students to promote positivity in their posts. Um, as we know that social media can sometimes take a negative turn. Students even made pledges on how they would overcome the challenge. Gade's pledge was to be more active. I realized what could I do to better myself, so I started running, prepare for track, um, just got better. At the end of the week, Gade was the only one to reduce her time by 100%. Uh, I did touch it just the power to make sure it wasn't like make sure it was working at least, just because I didn't want my parents to pay for another phone. As a school, they surpassed their goal with 55,604 minutes. <laughs> While the amount of time on screen went down, the time spent on wellness went up. For me, I got a lot more sleep, just usually because I'm on Instagram right before I go to bed or something, just check the post. Now, as a reward, Gaday got a $50 Shields gift card, and the winning classes were treated to breakfast pizza by Mayor Paulton Haken and prizes from Shields. Wow, what a nice surprise. All right, thank you very much, Max.